What? <laughs> hey, I'm Lewis Mudrich. Yes, a fly just flew in my face. But more importantly, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find the highest quality lead information you can get on the market, and then what you can do after in terms of saving and reaching. Stay to the end, by the way, because I have a cool little secret in terms of finding more high quality leads that are already like your existing customers or prospects. I'll show you exactly how to do that towards the end of the video. All right, so jumping right into it, you need to be inside LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and to get there, you obviously need to have a LinkedIn Sales Navigator account. Once you have that, you'll see this little icon at the top right that says Sales Nav. So you can sign up for LinkedIn Sales Navigator account or they do a free trial. This is, assumes you already have access to that. So go ahead and click on Sales Navigator. It's great. So now we're inside LinkedIn Sales Navigator and this is an extremely powerful tool. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step of how to use it. So don't get overwhelmed. And there's some buttons on the screen. There's a search bar, some alerts tab. Don't worry about any of that. It's gonna be super easy. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is find leads. And you need to know what your ideal prospect, ideal customer avatar, whatever all the information is about them so we can better find them inside LinkedIn. So for me, it's actually VP of marketing. And if you don't know this, like what their main job title role is or the industry for some reason, just survey your existing customers or look at you who your existing points of contact, your existing customers are. When you do that, you'll obviously see some commonalities. So you see they all have a specific job title or they all have a specific member skill or in a certain industry. You know, you really gotta nail down what is that commonality amongst all of your prospects or customers so we can find more people like them. So let's assume for me, it's just VP of marketing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just search VP of marketing. Now you can see what the search results look like for LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And there's a lot of useful information here in terms of like one, how many total results, like how many VP of marketings are there? Um, how many people changed jobs in the last 90 days? How many people posted on LinkedIn to see if they're active? There's a lot of different filtering down you can do, but this is just basically where I like to get started. So from here, you can either delete out your keyword and just start blank, or you can just go ahead and just do what I did, VP of marketing. That's the keywords I want them to show up for. And then you can start to refine down. So you really want to get pretty clear on who this batch of people is. Obviously, I don't want to reach out to all 4 million VPs of marketing in the United States or around the world, actually, uh, for that matter. So what we want to do is first, we want to narrow it down to either specific states or specific countries or regions or postal codes. Just for make matters simple, let, let's go after United States. Everyone in the United States, I want to see all the VP of marketing. Okay, great. Down to 3 million. Still way too many. So now what you can do is you can keep refining down by industry, by function or job titles or by seniority level. So for example, a lot of times LinkedIn will actually include people who aren't VP of marketing or whatever that is going after. If you keep scrolling, you'll see one or two pop up. Um, looks like they've gotten better about it, but yeah, chief marketing officer, I guess that would still count, but it's still CMO. So what I would want to do is probably narrow it down a little bit and say, okay, only show me people who are the VP level. And then it's going to refine that down even more, as you can see there. And then I can also say, let's show me people who are in the internet space, like internet and software. I want to do computer software. I just want to go for like SaaS and platform as a service. Maybe I can just, you know, add these industries here. So now I got 40,000 results. Now we're getting somewhere. It's still way too many, uh, especially if you're doing a cold outreach campaign. So what I want to do is maybe refine down a little bit further into something like relationships. So these are my first degree connections, my second degree connections or third degree connections, just as a way to get this refined down. So I can start off with maybe an outreach campaign that says, hey, I see we're a second degree connection on LinkedIn and you work at HelloFresh, so on and so on, right? Customize a little bit. But really what we're trying to do is just get this list down to probably like 1,000 people or 2,000 people and start segmenting them out so we can start outreach campaigns. So maybe I, I'll say, okay, not in the United States, just give me everyone in California or Florida. There's probably be less in Florida. So let's go in Florida. Give me everyone here. Cool. 349 results. This is perfect for some sort of outreach campaign or some kind of LinkedIn messaging campaign. So now that I have these, a lot can be done. I can start saving the leads to a list so I can go through this and I could, you know, check out everyone. Cashfly sounds like a software company. Yeah, looks like it. And I can just go through here and just say, okay, you know what? This one's a good lead. I want to save that one. So I can create a new lead list here and I can just title this Florida VP of marketing SAS second degree. And you can put a description here too as well. But 
I want to start saving people to this list so I can come back to it later on. So for example, there's a marketing company. I don't want to reach out to them. Don't want to reach out to marketing companies. Don't want to reach out to these guys. Prometric, what is this? Bill provider. Okay, this looks like this could be a good lead and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Just go through and keep adding the leads to your list. So that's one way to do it. And the reason why you want to have this list is you can actually do outreach via LinkedIn Sales Navigator to these leads. So now we got some prospects. Now we figured out how to start filtering down on the left-hand column to make your list more refined so we can get this number down lower so we can go more specific. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the lists. So once you have your list, you can actually navigate over to lead list and once you've saved like a few hundred people, you can then start doing either LinkedIn in-mail outreach or actually start converting these leads into emails. So you can then do cold outbound emails. So if I wanted to do LinkedIn in-mail, I click on someone's name and then go over here, just maybe hit message. So this sends them an in-mail message which skips past the connection request on LinkedIn and just goes straight to their profile. You're limited on how many of these you can send out so just be aware of that but I can literally reach out to them right now directly and just send it straight to Sam if I wanted to say hey um, I like your work at X Y and Z company or I think we should jump on a call because there's reasons X Y and Z here's our case studies other software companies you could totally do that right and this is how you basically turn this lead information into prospects to reach out to so there's faster ways to do this. There's other softwares you can use to as well on top of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. But I first wanna show you the standard way of reaching out to people. Now I wanna show you another way you can also search for information in this whole you know, Sales Navigator search result view. If you don't really know who you're looking for or want to see what options are available, there's actually an all filters button right here next to the search bar. And if you go in and click that, it'll actually pop up a little modal here. And what this does, if you see right below me, is it actually shows you all the possible parameters you can use when using LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find leads. So you can do it by keyword level, you can do it by past lead and account activity. You can do industry, relationship, geography, school. Now a lot of the same filters we had in the left-hand column with a few additional filters you can see, but like company headcount and whatnot, it's more easily visible here. But one thing I like to do is maybe start off by industry and then narrowing down from there. So I often like to go after the internet industry and then you can maybe do some keywords, maybe platform will help me refine down to show me people who are only with SaaS companies. A lot of like testing has to be done here to find how to get the best quality list. You can do language, English, if you want to reach out to English speaking people and then geography. But this is where I would spend a lot of your time just playing around with the options, seeing like how refined can you actually get. And as you're doing this top right corner, it's going to keep you up to date about how many results you have here. Now, the reason I recommend getting this really refined down and making a bunch of multiple lists is because you can do all your A-B tests, you can do your cold outreach, you can use tools in tandem with Sales Navigator that are limited based on like the numbers inside that list. So it's advantageous to break everything up into multiple lists and tag them differently. But this is just a different way to do what I showed you before. So here's an example of me looking for a real subset of people on LinkedIn ads. And so basically you see I have 533 results for this. I want to find people that are located in California. I want to find people that are also in the internet industry and speak English um, on their profile language. They have English set as their profile language. Then I also want to find people who are only VPs. I don't want founders. I don't want interns, things like that. And then lastly, I only want to find people who are in companies with a headcount of 11 through 50. And this is would be like a real audience I could I can reach out to. And then if I just click search, you can actually see the results here that I can start saving to my list. So if I go through here, okay, financing, Exchange, Udemy, that's a great lead right there. I know that company. I can just keep saving them to my list, but as you can see, I just saved them to my Florida list. I would probably want to make a new one for California and then refine it. Keep it really organized and clean because I'm telling you it's going to come in handy later when you start using other tools on top of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And then just go through here and fill up the list. So if you don't want to do it manually one by one, you could just click select all and just save them to a list, name your list. And then just go ahead and populate it with something like this so you can reference it for later, create and save. One more thing you can do too, because people are going to be switching in and out of jobs all the time, is actually save the search itself. 
So this will update and alert you every time new people get added to this list. So you can go ahead and title it accordingly. And then you can set the alert frequency. So if I want to get daily alerts, which will blow up my inbox every time something changes with this list, I can go in and do that. You click save that search. So now every time this search updates, I'll get notified of that, of the new leads I can contact. Now to access your saved searches, you're going to go ahead and click on the, you guessed it, save searches button up here to see any new updates to the list. Now, since I just made this one, it's not actually going to show me anything, but you'll see a green number populate here when you come back and check it of the new results to the list. And you can go in and click on the list again to take you right back there to see the new leads. Also, one little quick tip, when you see that green button right here, the green number, go ahead and click that, and it'll only show you the new results that have changed since you've saved that search. So you can then go ahead and download all those contacts or reach out to the new contacts there only, not mixing them in with your own contacts. It's really cool. And one more time too as well, there's multiple ways you could use these lists. And I'm not gonna make this video about specific tools you can use or different outreach methods. I'm more showing you the basics of how to find the leads. I'll include links in the description if it makes sense of what tools you can use to then further gather more information, whether it's the individual emails of these people or different ways to contact them. But this video is mostly about how do you find the leads in the first place that are most relevant to you. All right, so those are the basics of saving information, finding the right leads, adding leads to a safe search, finding new leads, things like that. But there's one really cool secret that I like to use when it comes to finding more leads that are like your existing customers. All right, so here's how to find more customers like your existing or previous customers. Step one, go ahead and enter in their name at the top of the search filter here. Once you do that, you should find their information or their contact card in the results, right? So I went ahead and put in my name for example purposes. And let's say I wanted to find more people like this guy, Lewis. I wanted to find more people that work at specific types of businesses that he has, is, has similar skills as him and a lot of other variables, right? It's actually really easy to do. All you have to do is click on this three little dots right here and click on this view similar button. So when you click view similar, it's actually gonna load up LinkedIn with a bunch more information of other contacts you can find. So let me just click that one more time and there we go. Now it's showing a bunch of people who are similar to myself in terms of running similar agencies or have a lot of similar skill set. But now I can just with one click of a button find a lot of people that could be worth reaching out to. So this could be for your primary customer or you can actually in, enter in like a competitor's customer or however you want to do that. You can really use this to your advantage. And I love this feature about LinkedIn. So it does limit the results a bit, but it does give you a good idea. If you pop in a customer name, you can then look at other people who are like that customer to get ideas of who else to add to lists. It's a really good way to just get started, get rolling. So this is the best way just to get started. If you don't know where to begin, just, just put in the name of a customer and click on view similar to get some ideas of who else you can be reaching out to or get some actual leads from this search result. I'm Lewis Mudridge and I'll see you on the next video.